Well, here we have a four voice accordion uh, with the Cassato box inside there as well, which means there's an extra set of reeds, um, or one of the sets of reeds anyway, is um, inside, enclosed inside a box in there. The problem with this is the couplers. The uh, couplers, press the one voice, that one works, the one voice doesn't. Two voice, that's stiff as well. Three voice, three voice up there is a bit, it seems alright. Four voice is stiff, there's a lot of tension. And um, so there's, there's something stopping these couplers from working. You mustn't force them, otherwise you just damage it. So that one works all right. That was okay, that's okay. Now if we watch these switches move, it's okay on the two voice, but as soon as you hit the three voice, three voice lower, or any other coupler with the lower button in, it's stiff. The um, how fascinating, how bloody stupid. They've actually put the the <laughs> the other end of this, which is located under here, that you can't get at, is actually a screwdriver head. It's a Phillips head. I mean, fancy putting it that way around. How bloody stupid can you get out of bleeding? I'm not supposed to get a Phillips screwdriver up there from inside. And the same with this side as well. You know, oh dear. We could take these four out here. That would save, um, save mocking the settings up. But I suspect the setting on this is already gone anyway. Moved. So. Well, I decided to undo these four screws which are holding in the, um, the frame which, oops, which uh, holds the couplers in place. It's one screw out because I'm careful not to lose these screws. This one's going to be a bit difficult to get at so I may have to lift that screw out when I lift the frame up. And uh, it's a very tiny uh, screwdriver head on me but I've just got a screwdriver which is big enough. My main tools are in my workshop and uh, I'm not there at the moment. So we've got four screws there. Not in a box they should be. Now we've got to take off this um, couple of control now. So then we have those two there. And uh, you're right there then. Let's carefully lift this off here. Slide those back a bit. I don't want to come off. And then we've so we've got the we've removed the coupler right now, so we'll just plunk that down now. And you can see where the, the other two these two hang down here. That's extremely stiff that one is. Well <coughs> this um, lever here which operates the sliders for the it moves but it's extremely stiff and I don't think those uh, there's no way those couplers are going to move that so there's something making that lever very stiff so before I go tearing into anything else I've taken out three pins here I'm just going to take out the ones in the back we're going to take off the um, keyboard side of the accordion, the treble side. These are quite um, quite free to move actually. In fact, they're very free to move, apart from this one. <laughs> so here we are. This is the treble side, and the part we need to get to to have a look at to see why that copper is so stiff is under here. Um, so we need to take this this reed block out here, which has got slide on there and they lift up the latch on there I think yeah lift up on that and one down here which we'll have to just unscrew on here otherwise just gonna look at 
going to take it all the way out. So we'll just lift this up here and out the way. Out the way round. Get that out the way. And uh, this is the part which functions there. When you move the copper over, there's a little bar comes across and moves it. Leads over these uh, slides over, so yeah, we'll just see if I can remove this reed lock and away. And now we might be able to get a look at what's happening. Now <coughs> I'll just have a look in here and these um, these here when you operate the couplers the two um, extensions we're interested in which are stiff these operate these two here now this one was quite free as you can see it opens and closes the uh, reeds this one here is very stiff and I noticed on the back there you can see where this one moves across and I noticed there was a black mark on the wood now when you start shoving brass on wood and, and rubbing it back and forwards you, the brass leaves a uh, black mark on the wood and I thought that's rubbing and I touched it and I thought yes it's, it's, it won't work across it's very stiff now I push this weed block and you may see it there I'll just push it again it's not um it was it was it was jammed it was over this t towards us towards the camera it was too far over and i pushed it back and now it's freed it up and that was moving okay now what made that move over i don't know unless the cordon's been jolted because um that's in place there and uh it, it must have just been jolted the accordion well that's bad because that means if it gets jolted again it's going to move out again but um, I'm going to put my hand around the front of the accordion again and give it a try well I have my hand at the front of the accordion and I'm trying these couplers over and uh, the one which was giving us the trouble was this one here and that now is very free just at the slightest touch and I'll try the other one. The other one's okay. There's a little bit of stiffness there. There's a little bit. But that one what was giving us the main trouble is free. So I shouldn't really be working with one end really doing this should I? But I want to show it to you as I'm reassembling it. Um, so I've got to make sure this one is well clamped in to keep them two reed blocks fully pressed in there and we've got the strap which will come across the top swings over and goes under that screw there and this uh, bolt action thing here at the end so I'll put that one in first and make sure that's down the other one's down fully as well and now I'm going to bring this across which I'm going to do this two handed into perspective here so there's your accordion as you normally see it so we've, we've took this off here and the problem what I think was to do with was this screw here um, now in actual fact that screw there the thread has, has gone in the wood um, so that screw needs to be replaced with a slightly bigger screw because the thread is uh, sloppy in the wood I think this pressure on this reed block wasn't as much as it should be you can't get that screw very tight because the thread's gone therefore this lead block is sliding out slightly and when it um, slides out it allows the other block behind it remember there's another block behind there another reed block behind there and when this when this reed block slides forward it allows that reed block behind it to slide forward as well and then when that slides forward the um, brass um, slider here which slides the um, sliders over the holes in the reed block it gets jammed on the wood the one I'm looking at this one at the front here but the one on the back block 
this gets jammed on the wood there and you can see it is on the other one because there's a brass mark on the wood where it's been rubbing hard on it so I'm going to replace this screw here put a slightly bigger screw in so I can get a proper firm uh, um, pressure on that screw to clamp this block this reed block into place so now we've replaced uh, that screw with a slightly bigger one and now it's going to reassemble the accordion we'll put these pins back in now um, through the uh, accordion case into the bellows right so we've got the two halves back onto the bellows uh, before we put the coupler array on we'll just give these a little twist little twist, little tweak and make sure they're okay that one's quite free and that one's quite free so they're both quite free now those two are now we'll put our coupler array on and we've got to line up these with those and those underneath with those two then there and uh, on this one, on this accordion if you press the master coupler that one there okay you'll see that these four connecting rods here these forks all line up which will make it easier for me to slot them back on okay now I've slotted these two at the front on quite simply as you can see they're both on there and the two at the back just slot them down which you probably can't see I'm going to do this with two hands that's the four prongs on there's those two forks at the back which are in place you can move that a wobble you can see that in there and the two at the front here which I'll give you the wobble and you can see them moving and now this thing I do now is get these back in these two screws here and these two screws up this end in the right place just like that use the pliers to lower that screw into place there and uh, I won't put them really tight they only need to be smugged down firmly and the ones at the top as you can see I've got all this screw here like that so there we are I've got that screw in and just one more to put in now just there well now as you can see we've reassembled the accordion and uh, these are couplers here look and feel pretty good we'll give it a little try Okay.